Hi everyone, this is Terry Conrad on Conversations That Matter and I am home this week from a great trip to LA, Hollywood, Universal Studios, where I was attending um, Gen Blue, Coldwell Bankers Gen Blue Conference, which was out of this world. It was so exciting. It was held at Universal Studios on the grounds. On the final night, we had the entire Universal Studios park to ourselves where we got to go and get on all the rides with no lines, which was so awesome. But beyond that fabulous experience, oh, and the opening ceremonies was held at the Dolby Theater where the Academy Awards are held. I mean, talk about an amazing venue. Coldwell Banker really did a great job of putting on a fabulous show. Um, but the content and the learning was also really, really good. And um, I had the great fortune of sitting in on a few different sessions and one of them, well, actually there was two, uh, where the Seattle Divas, who is our CTM this week, um, so Chavi and Kim from Seattle, the Seattle Divas, they're known as in our market, who are doing extraordinary things in terms of um, building teams and doing amazing business amazing differentiators, um, they understand brand, they understand the experience, and I sat down with them to do an interview on site at Universal Studios, and unfortunately, we didn't capture the whole thing, the the my iPhone video, and if you had the chance to see last week's video, which was done at uh, Raj's, uh, the boutique real estate group, uh, new office in Corona Del Mar, so that was done by a professional videographer. I, however, am not a professional videographer, and so unfortunately we are we are reliant on the iPhone and my very, very limited tech experience. So I do apologize. This week's is a little bit shorter than normal. Um, we only captured a brief portion of our conversation, but it was still really good, and I still wanna share it. And I've invited the girls back to come and dig in a little bit deeper when things aren't quite as scattered and we are more focused. So having said that, this week's is a little brief, but it's still really good. I think you'll agree that the divas are amazing and we can all learn a lot from them in terms of brand building, in terms of um, leveraging and scaling our business, um, how to focus and get super clear, and also deliver an excellent experience to our clients, which is ultimately the, the biggest goal. So please sit back and enjoy this quick conversation. Uh, let us know everything that you think and feel about it. If you wanna dig in more, for heaven's sake, reach out to me. I'm always looking for um, great conversations to dig into. So enjoy, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye. You're listening to Conversations That Matter with your host, Terry Conrad. Hi everyone, this is Terry Conrad, Conversations That Matter, special interview with the Seattle Divas on location <laughs> in Hollywood. We are in Universal Studio Theaters right now and Kim Calipari just came off the stage uh, on a panel about teams that was so fabulous. It was fun. It was and fun. Uh, time, yeah. this is one of the most powerful teams that I know of Aww. and so we wanted to really dig into what it means to operate a team, why the team vision. Um, basically, there's a lot of things, branding, marketing, where the divas are going, the whole thing. So we're gonna try and cram as much oh, good stuff it. in oh, as awesome. possible. It'll be an it'll intense, happen. short, powerhouse yeah. conversation. Yeah, so we're gonna pray to hell that this is recording properly. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's dig in. First of all, Chavi, I'm so glad okay. you're joining oh, us you too, so because you yeah. are a team. We are. Yes, we are a team. It's not one diva, it's the no, divas. It's not one it's diva, divas. it's definitely the divas. divas. Right, so why don't we, go, why don't we start with Chavi? Like, awesome. First of all, you just watched your wife up on a panel. It was amazing. What did you think? Really, Kim did a really great job. I mean, really articulating uh, that we're not a traditional yeah. team. Like, right. I mean, beyond the fact that we're a married lesbian couple, blah, blah, blah. But, like, <laughs> but, I mean, but, like, I mean, I think, like, outside of that, like, we really believe in developing talent. Like, one of our, I think, one of the deep passions I don't think you had a, much of a chance to talk about is that no. we want this next generation of real estate agents to be, to work, have the work ethic like the divas do, and really be, like, committed to the client experience and make sure that any, anything we can do to not go back to this recession, whatever happened in the recession as an individual agent, like we want to grow agents that are top producers who have the ethics yeah. ingrained in them. And, and I think that's one of the key things. Like, think, that's why we're so passionate about this. Yeah. And I think it's really it's yeah. interesting in that conversation we just had about teams, there was a lot of dialogue about um, team structure and assistance and job descriptions. And that stuff's all important. Yes. Yeah. There was not enough conversation about like 
what kind of personality do you want to bring on your team and what kind of clarity and vision do you have in the sense that you're growing your team? I mean, it's not just about adding assistance. We get so caught up in that, I need an assistant, I need an assistant. Well, if someone just came up and said, okay, so is it time for me to add an, an assistant? assistant. Right. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with adding an assistant. An but assistant is a, an amazing status symbol. It is. But, <laughs> Indeed. But, but it's like not, getting the nice car. Exactly. I also yeah. have an assistant. Right, but, yeah. right. And there is, yeah. but, it's, but that's the thing. An assistant's not just a nice car. It's not yeah. an inanimate object that does that just accomplishes a goal. It's part of your team. Right. Yeah. And that person, regardless of what their task they're doing, still has to buy in and understand who they're working for yeah. and what you're trying to accomplish and what their role is in everyone accomplishing that. And I think that's really hard for single agents who are growing their teams to go like, I'm an agent and now I have an assistant and now we're a team. And like, well. Well, and I think you guys have started the in the right place, which is you've incorporated. Yeah. So yeah, now you're did. operating we're as a company. Yes, as a company. We're an and I think that's a very different thing. Absolutely. It is. And we've been a company now since 2010. So this will be, this we're like almost at our fifth year. Yeah, Your anniversary as a as a company was just Kim and I. So, Amazing. And and the, you know, and the, no one gives you this like I always say this all the time. It's like no one gives you the power lady realtor book of like yes. how to how like, to be successful. How to be successful. Like, successful. Right. like they're like no one tells you about bookkeeping. Exactly. No one tells you how you have to compensate your like individual like all that stuff. Like no one's just you know yes. you just don't get that. No, that's exactly right. And yeah. and and that's why we're doing agent yeah, totally. too. It's the same exactly. thing. It's like you feel so bad for people who are coming in and don't really know how the hell to build anything. Yeah. But that's why we come to these conferences. That's exactly. why you're sitting on a panel. And unfortunately, you can't go all the way in. But you did touch on something that I know we both are really passionate yeah. about, which is the branding marketing side, mm. the, the vision, yeah. the mission. So why don't you kind of take each, why don't you refresh us what, what you were talking about on the panel, and then we'll expand on that idea. Oh, well, we were just talking about how you approach adding a member to your team. Right. And I think there's two different perspectives. If you're a single agent and you're the lone wolf single agent and you always want to be the lone wolf single agent, right. then just hiring an assistant is fine. Right, you yeah. know, the person's Absolutely. assistant, they do tasks for you, it's a task oriented job. You know, they're there to help you and promote you. Right. If you want to build a team, and if building that team, whether it starts with an assistant or a buying agent, which I don't like whatever that the word, whatever the terminology use, is, like, yeah, you need to understand whether you're a single person or whether, like, Chavi and I are a couple building mm -hmm, a team. Mm -hmm. What is our brand? Mm -hmm. What is our values that we hold as core values as part of our team? Right. You know, like, we're community oriented. Yeah. That has to be important that the person that works for us understands and values the efforts we put into mm -hmm. raising money for the community and doing things within the right, community. Right, and so can we define for a moment just for people who aren't familiar? Oh, I mean, yes. We all know it because we talk about this all the time, yeah. but brand for us is the overall experience. It's, it's, it's yeah, the overall it's experience. overarching experience. Go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, so basically we have a Team Diva brand. Yes. We have Diva Dwellers. We have Diva Dwellings. We have Diva devotees and those are our, our friends and clients who like who probably have not yet bought a house but They're they are ready. committed right and and part of that and um last year during our team retreat one of the biggest things that came out of everyone was like what is the first thing you think of when you think of team diva and they said community yes and and i think a little bit on the panel i think they were like oh you mean your gay community i'm like no we mean this broader seattle community of people that are around us <laughs> and in the during the recession one of the things that kim and i did really early on and used a lot of social media to this is that we connected like we're like okay so our graphic designer is working a little bit with us but we can't support him full time but this nonprofit needs someone right. to do this event and then so trying to make these connections and like between small businesses and nonprofits, nonprofits our community ourselves and just broaden the web I of love people that. and, and that's yeah, that's part that. of our devotee group of people and so even on Facebook we have a we have a private group just for our diva dwellers and devotees and these are people that's that smart. and these are people that we could have and special so special connections with connections special too. conversations with about things that we're doing exactly. that are beneficial, that are really just special for them. But exactly. now, so some some uh, agents would approach that as their, you know, I can sell like crazy. We don't. No, we don't. Not, it's we not don't, what it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. We rarely yeah. ever talk about it's selling about, things. So a couple of things, like so, one really good or example. Uh, like we have several clients who are drag queens, mm -hmm. and Facebook just recently took away all drag queen names, and it was a, it w and the the level, um, and just from a cultural standpoint, if you're not versed really well into the history of gay culture. 
you don't necessarily understand, but by making these people have their their, their quote their real, real names, names on is outing them in a public sphere where they in well, some states they could lose their jobs. Wow. And have these. And other there's impacts. a huge I mean, impact, uh, not just on them, on a lot of other types of performers. Yeah. That transgender people, burlesque, um, even people who are like hiding from domestic violence abuse. Like right. basically, Facebook just said that's irrelevant to us. We want your legal name, and we use that devotee and diva dweller group to say Sylvia O'Stafermore and Donatella Howe are not only are they diva dwellers, but they they support you guys, they support our events, they, they, they volunteer their time at your nonprofits, that they are part of our community and right now they're under attack and we need to support we them. We need to rally. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. And that actually speaks, I think, very strong to your brand because yeah. you, I certainly, I think everyone who knows you or has experienced you in any way gets this extreme sense of, you get, you just sort of get wrapped in, yeah. brought <laughs> into the diva experience. We kind of yeah. call it, kind of call it yeah. being part, part of like the, we call it the diva board sometimes when you come and <laughs> join Diva us. Land. It's Diva Land. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, so, yeah, and brand, I mean, brand for us is all about community, but it's also about from what a, what do we want to business, accomplish a on a business, business standpoint. And not everyone's business goals are the same, so we have a business goal that's really focused on awesome houses, awesome people, mm -hmm. yeah. and making sure that community is part of of everything that we do. Right. Building yeah. com strong communities, improving the communities in Seattle, supporting the communities. Which yeah. sounds lovely. I mean, it really does. It, it does, sounds really yeah. pretty and really nice. Yeah, we feel really good about that. But oh my God, you guys are really super savvy businesswomen. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and, and the community is houses. Like, you're right. House, you, I mean, when you, you buy a house, you're a small, like a first time home buyer, buy a house. Or you're you, building, you're building, you're improving the community. Absolutely. Or if you help a, uh, someone who's condo hasn't quite recovered from the market but they it's been six years now and they just need to move on You're that's community I mean okay. like we're doing advocacy work for these people I mean I mean people lose track of the fact that home ownership is not just about buying and selling a piece of property yeah. right it's about Cre it's about bringing people into a community that they're now part of because they own that house on that street, in that block, in that neighborhood, yeah. and everything that's part of that neighborhood now they're part of. Right. Yeah. And that's what homeownership is about for us. And when we were looking at the recession and working in this tough market of 2008 mm -hmm. and beyond mm -hmm. until things started to transition, one of the things Chavi and I really talked about is, you know what, people are don't want to talk about buying and selling houses, right. yeah. but they do want to talk about making their community a better place. Mm -hmm. They do want to talk about supporting their local businesses. Mm -hmm. Or their own livelihood. Or their yeah. own livelihood if they're a local yeah. business. Yeah. They do want to hear about how they can help a nonprofit, or if they work for a nonprofit, what we can do as a community to support that yeah, nonprofit. Absolutely. And, and honest, that's a, a broader issue yeah. that helps us translate into Home ownership is about this community, right? But and but from a production level, like right now, our team is the highest producing team for the Cole Baker Bay Network in the city of Seattle. Amazing! And, and, and so, we're, and we're, sorry, yeah. say that one more time. And so highest Plus producing team, team in and in, uh, individuals and or team right, in the city of Seattle. We're not talking about the larger Bay Network, but definitely in the city of Seattle right now. Super, super remarkable. Yeah, and I think one yeah, of the reasons yeah, thank you. why we're able to have that kind of production is because we are so clear in who we are it's and what that. we represent. Yeah. Which I wanted to get to that. So who are you? What do you represent? Do you have those values laid out? You we do. Have? We, do. Okay. we, do. we have values laid yeah. out. I mean, yeah. obviously, we're a lesbian couple. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're supportive of that community. Right. But it's not beyond that. And it is a very large It's a very large. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Maybe in Seattle it's not as large, but in other places right. it would be really yeah. large. But for us, that's not. it's not so much about that, oh, no, we're a lesbian here. couple or that we're a gay couple and we support the gay community. It's yes. more about the fact that we are really urban focused. We're really clear on our brand image, not just our brand culture. Yes. Yeah. So we have a very clear, defined brand that we represent out in the community as Team Diva.